further to this, there are incredibly good opportunities for cost savings in the system. So with this large solar panel that we've looked at, there's a lot of the knowledge that came about from 1982 and 1983, when the first megawatt scale solar power plants were built in California by Arco Solar. We worked with uh, companies, uh, I noticed in the attendees list, uh, some folks from Floor are here. Floor was our engineering partner at Arco Solar for scaling up the installation systems of large scale power plants and essentially having a factory in the field, just like you can have a factory making a module, coming up with mass production methods that work in the field. And a lot of that opportunity resides with being able to process large parts, essentially carrying out all of the wiring in the factory and saving time when you get outdoors and are standing in the heat or the rain or the snow. So, whether it's on a rooftop system or a power plant, I like showing this one in the upper uh, right hand corner here, the uh, Rancho Seco nuclear power plant in Sacramento, where the voters of Sacramento voted to turn off the nuclear power plant and use solar. When you think about most nuclear power plants needing a three mile diameter uh, green belt around them, that's the same area as is needed for 1,000 megawatts of solar panels. So we've got a great opportunity here to fit in with some of the space that's been set aside already. Uh, later on, you'll uh, uh, hear from the uh, folks at uh, Phoenix Solar about the economies of scale, the time that can be saved in the field. So I won't uh, steal Manfred's uh, thunder here. But just to make a point that by being able to build these large area panels, it's possible to mount them uh, quickly and easily in the field uh, with tools that have been created by the glass handling industry. I love coming to the InterSolar Show because it's where all of the installers are. It's where the folks who have that real firsthand knowledge of what it takes to put a solar array in the field come from building sector, from the glass product sector, where they've already solved transportation problems, logistics problems. A thousand uh, megawatt thin film solar power plant, uh, just making those panels in a glass-glass combination, is processing 30 tons of glass an hour. It's the same amount of glass as one float line processes every hour. So thinking about the logistics here, Thinking about deployment is where most of the industry is moving today, in addition to thinking about how to get down below a dollar a watt. And we've done a lot of work to quantify the benefits of handling large sizes versus dozens upon dozens of small size parts, trying to connect them together and have uh, mounting brackets and individual nuts and bolts. Unless you've been out in the field, laying on a rack upside down and drop the nut on the ground and think about how you're going to go down and get the nut that you just dropped on the ground. Spend a lot more time thinking about how building the module right the first time in the factory will save a lot of time when you get outdoors. And just to sort of wrap up here, I wanted to kind of give everybody a calibration. Where are we today in the cost per kilowatt hour? So we talk a whole lot about cost per watt. So what's that mean? None of us uh, pays on the basis of, of uh, watts on our utility meter. It's energy, not power. So as you look at uh, Travis's chart for cost reduction over time and convert that into cents per kilowatt hour, I took a case of uh, a moderately sunny part of the world and uh, said reasonable interest rates typical for residential or commercial lending rates. Today, we're at about 32 cents per kilowatt hour in a sunny place. With the investment tax credits in the US, that's about 17 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're directly competing with peak power in very large portions of the world's energy supply right now. So it's safe to invest right now. And if you just look a little bit at 
where the costs are going to come in just the next couple of years, however you voted on that uh, on the earlier SMS messaging, the small cost reduction, we're into a realm of 20 to 30 cent a kilowatt hour electricity without subsidies that is about a hundred billion dollar a year business. So the stakes are there. The opportunity is there to be able to make a big difference on today's electricity supply with today's costs and having a confidence about where we can be tomorrow. This chart shows the same uh, graph, you know, peak electric power rates going up. Been fairly conservative here about the rate at which base, new base load generation capacity rates go up. And of course, with legislation related to carbon taxes or emissions trading scenarios, those other power plants, the coal power plants or the nuclear power plants, the time delays to get a permit to build a power plant, all add up to money. Being able to get to the money soon with a solar power plant that went from somebody signing a piece of paper to having ability to make a module in 10 months. Being able, we've seen examples already of people being able to install over 10 megawatts in 10 months. It doesn't take long to be able to scale up to meet the needs of the growing energy demand for the world. This red line down here across the bottom shows what can happen making a big module, making that 5.7 square meter size module. It's a game changer. Not only does it allow for the cost to come down for making the module, it allows for the system cost to come down very rapidly as well, further expanding the size of the total market that's available today. We've had uh, some nice uh, recent announcements of parts of the world uh, that are looking at becoming green, doing something about it, not just talking about it, but taking action. Uh, this was uh, an announcement from uh, uh, a week and a half ago uh, with uh, Abu Dhabi's plan for a uh, carbon neutral green community area in the Middle East. So it's kind of a good feeling to think about all of us who ship pallets of money to the Middle East for oil, being able to have some of that money come back doing the right thing here with clean energy. So where we are today, we've built up a, a very good business. We've um, announced about uh, $3 billion in orders for equipment. Not too bad for two and a half years worth of going from nothing to being able to build up a, a meaningful operation. Being able to show what can be done with the scale of thin films. These are technologies that have been around, have been worked on a long time, and we're on track. Just as I know all of you are on track here to sort of help make this whole wave move forward. I thank uh, Edwin for the chance to speak here this morning and uh, look forward to having a chance to meet many of you during the course of the conference in the next few days. Thank you very much.